love with Habitat for Humanity? Well, since I uh, moved back to LA in 2014, call it, I've been involved with Habitats for Humanity. I was playing with the NFL Jets, and when I got done, I the Jets, yes, the Jets, and um, I'm, I'm a Patriot fan at heart, but the Jets were paying the paychecks at the time, so you know you just got to go with them. But um, they've they've been a, a massive part of the community here in LA and around a lot of parts of the world. And to be able to come and be able to donate not just my time and my money, but also my effort in going out in Inglewood and developing some of those homes and painting those homes, it's it's truly a pleasure because you know I I don't come from a lot, but I come from enough. And uh, there's many people. There's many people that don't have clean drinking water, that don't have a place to stay, and so if we can just give them a home, I think, to start with, and then start perfecting on a lot of the other uh, things that are going on, I think we can really make a difference. So you physically get out there and swing a hammer, huh? Oh yeah, absolutely. I have no problem hitting a hammer, painting a building, you, you name it. You just let me know where you need me, and I'm happy to help. And you clean up quite nice, too. Oh, thank you. Listen, it's... It's all my girlfriend. She picks out all the clothing. Yeah. Sure, yeah. So you can check me out on uh, Brett Lockett on t Instagram at Brett underscore Lockett, Twitter at Brett Lockett 26, and on uh, Facebook at uh, just Brett Lockett. Well, I was actually involved with building some homes in Culver City earlier this year, back in March. It was such a great experience. We built some homes for some wonderful families up there. I got to meet some families that benefited from homes from Habitat for Humanity. I thought it was such a great cause to get it, to really get in there roll up my sleeves. I learned how to put in windows, nailing roofs down. So I thought it was such a great event. My passion outside of track and field is real estate, home development, all of those things. So I was happy to be able to kind of merge the two together. So I'm talking, So you actually got out there and swung the old hammer. Yeah, a hammer, a nail gun. I used all of those things. And believe it or not, I'm always on the logistics end. So to be on the actual construction and contractor end, I thought it was really good. It was very informative, to say the least. Okay, switching tracks a little. Olympics next year. Are you in it? Of course, I'm in it. I'm at the top of the podium. I'm so excited to represent Team USA yet again. The Olympics is always a great thing. It brings all of us together, and I'm just excited now to have such another great organization that I can represent as well. Oh, yeah. Well, we're going to root for you. Thank you. Thank you so much. I'm here to support my wife. She's a big uh, a builder, and she's a big support for the, for the people here. So I'm just here with her. <laughs> okay, so what do you do with Habitat? Well, we're both two-time Olympic athletes, and we've been a part of Habitat for the last four years, um, building and helping the community, low-income families. I'm also a part of the entertainment team, so a lot of times on the build, I'm entertaining through song as well. So it's amazing to be here and celebrate all this work that we've done throughout the year. Have you guys been to any of the sites or helped build anything? Absolutely, of course. That's the best part, you know. Yeah. Everybody I talked to has had a hammer in their hand or something. Yes, yes. no, we have amazing bills, and it, it, it's amazing when you're out there. I'm not sure if you have been out there, but if not, so then you know how exciting it is. It's great. We are both two time Olympic athletes. Our first one started at 2004, 2008. My husband, 2004, 2000. 12 last one he suffered a spinal injury in 2016 where they said that he was paralyzed from the chest down we said no so yes right now he's it well, he's in a wheelchair now he actually is with a quad cane right now so you know depending on how far we have to walk he's in the chair but next year is 2020 the olympic games and his goal is to get back up on his feet and we're going to do that with the Olympic spirit. Oh, that's so cool. I'm rooting for you. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. And you guys, you guys have a nice evening tonight. You, you too. too. You too. Okay, go ahead and say your name for me for late night editing. Yes. I'm Sean Robinson, S-H-A-U-N. Okay, we're here with Sean. It was, it's nice to see you. You look amazing. What, how did you get involved with Habitat for Humanity? Well, Glenn and Joanne are friends of mine, and I find them to be incredible philanthropists, people who give back to those less fortunate. I've seen the wonderful work that they've done with Habitat for Humanity and helping uh, the people of greater Los Angeles. And so anytime they ask me to come out and support, I'm there. Oh, that's amazing. So what do you have coming up when you're not doing all the charitable stuff? Well, I have movies with Lifetime that I'm executive producing. 
with uh, Bishop T.D. Jakes. We're doing The Seven Deadly Sins. Woo! So not a Christmas movie. Uh, no, not a Christmas movie. But uh, we're doing each of the deadly sins. We're starting with lust, envy, and greed, and then doing pride, gluttony, sloth, and wrath. So very excited about that. Very cool. Go ahead and give me your social media so we can keep track of you. Okay, you can find me on Instagram at Ms. Ms. Sean Robinson. And Facebook, Sean Robinson. Twitter, Sean Robinson. And SeanRobinson.com.